further encourage North Korea to develop its economy in exchange for abandoning its nuclear weapons program. Now, that's a word of advice from Mongolia's first president to lead his country make the historic shift from communism to capitalism in the 1990s to North Korea. We recently sat down with Ochirbat, the first president of Mongolia to be elected by direct popular vote. From his vision for the future of Seoul Ulamator ties to a message to the nuclear ambitious Pyongyang, an exclusive interview by our Song Ji Sun. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Punsai Magin Ochirbat. He is the first president after Mongolia shifted to capitalism and democracy in the 1990s. He is also the one who established diplomatic ties with South Korea. How would you rate the ties between South Korea and Mongolia after 26 years of diplomatic relations? Solongsing, Technic, Tichen Log, Otagarra, Teget, Otto Mongol Solongosoyer, Haritzen Ashta, Team, Otto Hamteng is Rane, Wishatro, Shilch, Team Shard, Logan, Team Sakhotza, Achatoyen, Bossombine, Nuxilwet, Ludolin, Sahangatsung, Mana Mongolin. When looking back, Mongolia established great economic development after transition into democracy and capitalism over the past three decades. What message do you think this can convey to Pyongyang and what ideas or suggestions do you have for the Pyongyang government? The <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your insights on North Korea and setting the vision for future relations of Mongolia and South Korea. And we also appreciate your initiative for the unification on the Korean Peninsula here in Mongolia. Mr. Punsan Magin Otirvat, former president of Mongolia. Okay.